We're backstage at Mojo Burning Festival with the Hunted Crows. How are you guys going? <laughs> we're great. We're pretty good. For all those at home, we're very close together because it's getting quite rowdy backstage here at the Hamilton Hotel. Um, so you guys ready for rapid fire questions? Yeah, man. All right. What's your spirit animal? Um, my spirit animal is a lemur. Mine's like a... a uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of this animal, but it's a, an animal called human. Yeah. It's, a human. it's not funny, is it? <laughs> You're already a human. Try, try that joke next week on your friends, see if it works. Uh, <laughs> if you could find any celebrity, who would it be? Myself. I'd fight Meryl Streep, and I'd beat her with her Oscars. She's got 13 of them. Whew. That was the I'm coming, Meryl. The octopus hands. <laughs> um, worst Christmas present you've ever received or given someone? Oh, dude, when I was when I was fourteen, I got a I've got a uh, this is actually not a bad gift, but I got a party box of peanuts. So it was like a big tub of peanuts, and like some of them were chocolate coated, and there was like macadamias in there and everything. But I, I remember like getting it at Christmas, and I was like, this is fucking terrible. Yeah. And then later on, when I was like playing computer games, I was like, there's just this box of peanuts, yeah. and I was like, it accidentally one of the most thoughtful. Pretty gifts good, you could have got. pretty good gift yeah. when yeah. I was gaming. Yep. Yeah. And you? Can you beat? Beat or I can't, I can't be sad. Really <laughs> box of peanuts. Um, I don't think I can beat that. Um, in terms of practicality? In practicality, um, no. Nah. Just sheer tastiness? I really can't beat that. That's really good. You've, beat you've that. had just average gifts. That's, that's yeah. great. Um, best party trick you two, you guys have, as a collective or individually? Um, Jacob does this thing where, like, he does, like, a flip, catches me, um... And I did like a handstand on his neck. Is that an on-stage trick or just at parties? Like, no, you... just strictly bedroom. <laughs> like we call it a party, but it's not. No one's invited. No one's ever seen it. But like, it's okay. just, yeah. So should we say picks or it didn't happen, or we're just going to trust that yeah, it man, happens? Look, it, we don't have a camera, so it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we, we just we we jump on each other, and that's what happens. It's just things happen when we're alone. So that's what we want to say. Really, to answer that question, things happen when we're alone. <laughs> uh, who, non-politician or politician, should be Australia's Prime Minister? We're getting serious. <laughs> I'd pick... Um, do you remember that um, TV show, the, that Out, Outback Adventures or something? Oh, Was Russell that? Coit. Yeah, that's it. Russell Coit, yeah. He was in Kath and Kim. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the... The character you're referring to is Russell Coit. I can't remember the actor's name, but yeah, no, I get no, no. to. He should be prime He's minister. Um, Kel Knight in um, yes. Captain Kim. Yes, yes. Kel Knight. So should Russell Coit or Kel Knight run I think, Australia? I think, um, I think Kel Knight maybe. Yeah, because he's like he, he doesn't he's bashful, but he'll he'll just be entertaining. I think. It's good. Also, he doesn't fall over cut toe bars and whatnot as exactly. much as Russell Coit does. Exactly, and we need we need a stable. Prime Minister. Mm, and his hair was Balanced. immaculate as well. Yeah, yeah, that's always a good point. Um, worst heckle you guys have received whilst on stage? Oh, man, I think we've got or, a couple, actually. Or best heckle if you don't want to be depressed. <laughs> uh, some dude was like, you're fucking weird. That was about it. That was, the best. was, that, was it positive weird or negative no, weird? No, it was just like, it was like, just we're being like quiet, we were like tuning or something. Like, you're fucking weird. And then he was kind of like in the background. <laughs> And then I couldn't really see him. He like vanished. Yeah. I was like, all right. Thanks. Cool. Did you take that on board? And you're like, yeah, yeah, right. yeah we're like, okay, we should probably be less weird when we're tuning. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you guys have a tuning face compared to say a rock out face? Like similar to my cum face. So your like, your sex face is your tuning face. My rather cum than face your guitar is this. Face. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's incredible. So your guys' lyrics are very emotive, yeah, then yeah. I assume. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. Very I don't, I don't want to move my face much when I sing. Do, 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 like I love that broody musician. So. Mm, definitely, I'm getting the I'm getting the broody um, partnership as well. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> finally, what's the <laughs> what's the best thing about being in the Hunted Crows? What's the best thing? The best thing is just apart from the flips in the bedroom that you guys the do. Is, it's the boys. Hang on, the boys. Hey, <laughs> Brizzy. It's fucking brown out. It's the best part of it. Awesome. Mm. Um, you heard it here first at Triple A Backstage. Backstage, Mojo Burning with the Hunted Crows. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for having us. Cheers.